Amorosa is not a woman who's afraid of her voice, and she lifts it whether she's teaching, preaching, or reaching millions on television. Here's her story about her new fire for God that led her to seminary. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Lift Every Voice. Derek Watkins here, sitting here with Amorosa Manigault, the woman who has gone from the White House to the boardroom to the pulpit. <laughs> Welcome. That's quite an introduction. So good to have you here. It's so good to be here. First, can I congratulate you on your new book? Thank you. I need I to get copies that. for my yeah. children's church. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I appreciate that. So, I mean, you know, having you here, I, I really don't know where to begin, to, to, to be perfectly honest. I think, um, let's start with what was the unction that said, you know what, um, I'm a woman of God, but I want to go deeper. What made you make that, that transition? You know, I entered my call to ministry after missionary work in the Gambia, and I came back on fire. I called my pastor and explained to him what transpired in the mm -hmm. orphanage in the Gambia, and he said, if you're going to answer the call, you must be prepared and mm -hmm. you must be certain. And so I enrolled in seminary, and I didn't go to seminary to be a preacher. I went to seminary to do missionary work and to focus on kingdom building. You went, you said, go get prepared. You went to By seminary. By the way, I had a New Testament instructor who didn't believe in God. What was that like? For me, it was, you know, it was what it was because I knew what I came there to get. And I had to minister to him a couple of times because he was referring to the Bible as a historic document. For me, it is the living, breathing word of God. Yeah, amen to that, Absolutely. amen to that. Now my question really is, do you <laughs> preach as direct as we see you on television? <laughs> because I think that, you know, again, you you can be in some time some for some people relatively polarizing. Mm -hmm. But didn't he always use the flawed and the broken to fulfill his ministry? He, he never went to just the saints. He died for the sinners. There you go. Yeah. When you preach, are you direct the way we see you? You know, um, everyone says preaching is personality. So absolutely, I bring my personality into the pulpit, but you know, I only preach Jesus. You know, yeah. when you come to hear my sermons, you're gonna hear about how Jesus has transformed my life and what he can do for your life. How did you decide on this particular church? Well, I like to say that Weller Street Missionary Baptist Church chose me. Mm. The first time I went there just to visit, the spirit was just moving. There was an anointing on the place that, you know, just draws you in. And I remember going to the pastor, because I got there a little late the first time, and it was first Sunday. He says, well, I can still give you communion. And I, I knew wow. I had to wow. not only be a member there and serve, but when I had the opportunity to be ordained there, licensed to preach there, I stayed because that is my family. And that's where the work of God is being done. Did you go to the orphanage? Was this after the death of your fiance? You know, it was not. Mm. Um, I actually was with Jeff Johnson. <laughs> you know really? Jeff. Yeah, sure. Very yeah well. we went to the Gambia uh, for a whole nother uh, reason. We were there for an industry event, and Jeff was like, we need to go do some work. You know, Jeff is a minister as well. Yeah. So he's like, we need to go see the people. We got our own driver, and we decided to go explore, explore Gambia on our own. Okay. And at some point, our car was surrounded by children with their hands out. And, and so we could give them candies and money and trinkets, but how powerful was it to introduce them to God? Right, and, yeah. and the truth is, we may be the only Bible that folks see. That's we may true. not speak the same language. We don't come from the same ba uh, background, but you have to fulfill the word by your living and your doing. Amen to that. We're, we're gonna stop down right here, ladies and gentlemen. Don't touch that devil because when we come back, we're gonna find out something you may not know. Somebody is running for office. <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch that down. Amorosa has found a new way to express her opinions. She's running for office. You'll get the details when we come back. As much as I missed him, I, I understand that God needs him more. God That's real spiritual maturity. There.